Hello, Impact Nation, and what up, though, Detroit? My name is David John, and my wife, Grace, and I have the amazing honor and unimaginable privilege of leading the newest Impact Church plant in Metro Detroit, Motown, Motor City. Detroit has the 14th largest metropolitan economy in the U.S. There's 17 Fortune 500 companies that are headquartered here. We're the 11th most populated city in the entire country. Detroit really is an amazing city, and yet 15% of those here, rep which represents more than half a million people, say they're not convinced that God even exists. 33%, which represents 1.2 million people, identify as not Christian. And then 67%, which is 2.5 million people in Detroit, identify as Christian, but less than half of that number say that religion is their main source of guidance on right and wrong. But we serve the God of the impossible. I was born and raised in the D, and I can tell you Detroit has a style and a swag and a culture that is in a class all its own. And yet, we have been consistently crowned as the unhappiest city in the U.S. Detroit has the highest separation and divorce rate in the country, bar none. According to the FBI, Detroit is the single most violent big city in America. And yet, we serve the God of the impossible. God called Impact Church back to Detroit to reach the 1.2 million people here that don't yet know God, to help the 3.7 million residents of Metro Detroit find freedom. We're the city that brought you Henry Ford, that brought you Aretha Franklin, that brought you the Winans, that brought you Bishop George Davis, and God called us to lead Detroiters to discover purpose. He called Impact Church to Metro Detroit to mobilize believers, to use our time, our talents, our resources to make a difference and watch God do the impossible. We started with some momentum back in February of this year. We were throwing interest parties that was gonna help us raise awareness and funding and anticipation leading up into our launch day. Launch day is September 13th. And we decided that we needed at least 65 team members in order to really kick things off the way that we had in our heart. We felt God had called us to and do it with excellence. But three days after only our second interest party, the first cases of COVID-19 showed up, confirmed in Michigan, and everything shut down. Now you tell me, how do you plant a church in the middle of a pandemic? How do you recruit? 65 volunteers with no ability to gather, but we serve the God of the impossible. We couldn't do interest parties, so we started doing community service. We delivered care packages to frontline workers. We partnered with the Department of Health and we passed out groceries at, at a local neighborhood school. We, we made hygiene kits and took them to homeless men and women on the corners all across the city. And we found senior citizens that were recovering from illnesses and we cut their grass and we trimmed their shrubs. We needed 65 volunteers in order to launch at the level that was in our heart. And let me tell you, miraculously, with no ability to gather, with no ability to do interest parties or even meet physically as a team, we continue to grow in the middle of a pandemic where we still, to this day, have not had a single in-person gathering with our entire team. God did the impossible. We surpassed our goal of 65 last week. Our team is 70 adults strong, and we're still 40 days from our launch. We serve the God of the impossible. And let me just say this, whatever it is that you were dreaming about before these things changed, before 2019 turned to 2020 and COVID-19 hit, I want you to know it's still possible. The power of God cannot be quarantined. No, no, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No matter what it is that God put in your heart, Jesus is the one that said in Matthew chapter 19, with man, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. You can still be debt free. You can still get married. You can still start that business that God put in your heart. You can still be healed and be around to bless your great grandchildren. Don't give up on God. He's still a miracle worker. In fact, let me tell you about God. He likes the drama. God makes masterpieces out of mayhem. Remember Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 18. It wasn't enough that the prophet Elijah was outnumbered on every side, 450 to one man. 
It wasn't enough that he already needed a miracle in order to be successful. Nope, God wanted to make sure that it was clear that God was in this. So then he had barrels and barrels of water dumped on the altar. You might feel like that's your life, your career, your relationship. It was on fire in 2019 and then came 2020. Dump barrels of water on it. I just want to remind you that we serve the God of the impossible. If you'll just present your life by faith on the altar, on the altar of God's plan, present your life with faith on the altar of God's plan. He won't just cause fire to fall. No, he's going to lick up all the water. He's going to dry every tear. He'll clear your name. He'll make it so that you look back at this year, 2020, and you'll say, you know what? That's the year when everything changed. There's only one thing, though, that scripture says is not possible. It's impossible. Hebrews chapter 11, 6 says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. You've got to believe that God is the miracle working God that you used to believe he was. You got to believe that God still does the impossible. And I'm telling you, this will be your year. I love you all. It's such a pleasure to be a part of this amazing impact family. And if you want to know more about our launch here in Detroit, you can just visit weareimpactdetroit.com. God bless y'all. That's it. Peace.